Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about fake deadlines. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, why do some software engineering managers give teams a fake deadline so that there is enough of a buffer time to make the real deadline in case something goes wrong? Well. There's usually one of two reasons that people do this. Uh, at an organization level, it's usually to test the readiness of the entire corp uh, company. Uh, it's similar to a fire drill or like an unscheduled type of thing where you want to have a very realistic number or some type of sense of how, in what f fitness level or like how, how prepared are you. Uh, and so you create this sort of, it's almost you simulate like a sharp deadline, this has to take top priority and you just observe how well does uh, your company or your teams and so forth deal with the situation. Because if, uh, if they manage to produce something, even if it's hacky, that means that they can respond in a, in a decent way, right? You can evaluate how well they respond, right? Uh, but if they completely fail and like nothing gets done, that's a very bad thing, and you need to start thinking about doing some fairly fairly in in depth investigations and restructurings of your company. Because if you can't respond to a crisis or something like with a short deadline like that, even if it's not a perfect solution, that's a real problem. Because as I like to tell the software developers who forget this, guys, writing something that is not perfect but works is still useful. Just think about that. I try to, to bring people back to the idea of, you know, if if you are cold, the best thing is if you have a house with like central heating and a nice couch and things like that. But if you're out in the wilderness, a fire is probably a good thing. Same deal. It's just a different perspective. If you only think that you are in a good position when you have had the chance to do something really really well which sometimes is just impractical it's not going to work well then you're only going to be happy when you work with perfection and the reality is that it's uh, almost impossible uh, the reality is that sometimes you're going to have to do some things that may not be perfect but they're still going to keep things together if that makes sense you know like monkey patch something and so forth and so forth you should be still be proud of the fact that you made it work so that's one way of thinking about it, that's very common. The other way is, which is probably more common, is that you give people a fake deadline that is a little bit shorter because you don't want them to f take up the entire time. So there's a bit of logic to this where the idea is that if if you say to people, this is gonna, we have two weeks to do something everything's going to take two weeks because mentally even if people could do it in two days well they would go well i have two weeks why not just do all these other things or do things like why not why should i stress myself out over doing this thing i can just sort of take it easy because i have two weeks right and so the idea is that you basically fill up the time regardless but had you given them a deadline of one week they would have still met the deadline it's just that they mentally would have you know committed more. This is a bit of a double-edged sword that can work but it can also create another situation which is also very common which is bad which is that people just get really really stressed and make really really shitty decisions because they don't like if you give them a fake deadline and they can't really work effectively it doesn't really matter if you give them a shorter deadline or a longer one they're still gonna make poor judge poor call like bad calls and so you will be left with a subpar solution and the more pressure you put on people, the harder they're going to have to work, the more stressed they're going to be. There are all these consequences. So this practice is is difficult. I think so. It really is difficult and I don't really think that it's a good practice in general to follow because as I said it's such a it's a 50/50 situation. It can work, but it can also turn out really really poorly. It's sort of like the OKR system where well, you shouldn't Never, you should be ambitious. You should never try to reach a hundred percent. You should reach seventy-five percent. And I kind of go, okay, cool. That basically means that seventy-five percent of the total has now become the new hundred percent. It's a silly, silly, silly mental game. 
where nobody's ever satisfied with the results they have achieved and the ambition is of course that you should never be uh, be happy you should always try to push it yes but when you don't realize that there's a difference between actually feeling good that you did a good job when you actually did do a good job and when you got complacent and did a really shitty job but still pat yourself on the shoulder that's the thing that it's trying to address. It's trying to get you to a point where you try to push yourself to do the best that you can. But you can also misuse that, just as a lot of things. A lot of things, are, if they're used properly, will work really, really well. But if it's in the hands of people who don't really know what they're doing or are stupid in some fashion, they're going to misuse it and it's going to become a negative thing. As I like to tell my friends, I mean, medicine is good, right? Yeah unless you take too much of it and then all of a sudden it becomes poison instead. So what I want you to take away from this is that usually when people set these sort of deadline types of things it's down to either that they want to trace the readiness of their team or their organization where like they create they create like a mini um, uh, situation where now everybody has to sort of be on their top game and like oh we really need to ship this it's super important to the company etc etc and then they create a really sharp deadline because they want to be ambitious and now you can sort of observe how well the organization responds to a quote unquote crisis or something like that and learn from it that's one way of looking at uh, that happens uh, which can be a very nice fire drill type of thing to do and then the other way is uh, other reason is usually because people want to make sure that like they are ambitious, they try to push people and not, you know, don't give people too much time because if they take too much time, uh, it's not good for anybody. They're not going to try their best or like they're just going to fill out the time. And I've only found that the fire drill thing it does work to a certain degree, and so it is, it, it is with like not making sure that people are actually trying their best and feeling a little bit of pressure and really pushing themselves. But it's also a double edged sword where if it's misuse, it can actually be very da damaging to your company. And the worst part is when you have to deal with someone like myself who kind of goes, The problem is what the problem is. And the problem with having such an individual in the company is that they sort of mit they sort of kill the entire mental um, sensation of urgency that you that you as the manager are trying to create, because basically what I'm telling you is that I don't care if you tell me that I have one day or you have if I have a hundred days, if you want this to happen, it will ha I can tell you how long it's going to take. What you think it should take is irrelevant to me because it's like you telling me how long it should take to move the ocean or move a boulder or something like that. If you're not doing the work, you don't have a say in how long it's, it's going to take and you're very welcome to pitch in and make it go faster. What usually happens in those situations is that you try to make tactical decisions to, as I say, I like to say, reduce the problem because those are the only two things that can ever happen. Either you have to create a simpler problem in other words, not deliver the whole thing, just maybe something hacky, or you have to give us more time, which sort of completely defeats the purpose of this exercise. Have a great day.